Well, hello there, guys. Ripamax is here, coming at you with another multiplayer battle of Gettysburg, guys. Now, this time, I'm actually doing the approach Gettysburg, and I'm facing a major general, Cormac. So, this guy probably has some idea of how to play. Um, now, this is the first battle. Speculative scenario, of course, about the Battle of Gettysburg, the arriving at Gettysburg, and we're going to be playing as a uh, confederacy here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take McPherson's Ridge. This is generally uh, my first move in this battle. Go ahead and start moving these guys up move our cannons up as well so that they become in range and let's see if we can get the rest of these guys as well uh, I, this is definitely the first time I've played the uh, speculative battle of uh, battle of first day of Gettysburg I should say as multiplayer so I'm curious to see how that's gonna work uh, I'm pretty sure that this guy right here these vedettes are gonna try and take this position over here so we want to go ahead and get Davis into position really quick open up on the enemy skirmishers and just do as much damage as we can so we can start moving through uh, the real key here is to get to that hill and take it before the enemy gets his reinforcements and this guy's got a pretty good idea he's putting all of his main men here uh, on the front lines and really just trying to push our forces back go ahead and get come on Davis got to get into position faster than that and we'll open up here we'll just keep moving forward guys okay it looks like he started the shell shot on us I don't blame him one bit uh, but really the main point here is to go ahead and get these guys in position quickly uh, because if not we're not gonna be able to get past this, this area before the reinforcements arrive and we will undoubtedly lose the battle um, right now, we're just trying to break the skirmishers' morale a little bit. Go ahead and get our generals here. Alright, I want to see if we can actually open up now. I doubt it. Uh, but we may go ahead and just switch to solid shot and try to hit their artillery here on the ridge. I'm, let's see how that works. Okay, the skirmishers are not retreating, but they are pulling back. Uh, it does look pretty rough out there right now. I'm going to go ahead and take the skirmishers over here and start dealing with the vedettes. And I'm actually going to take the mirror and uh, try to fire over here on the enemy cavalry units. Go ahead and switch to shell shot. Uh, hopefully this guy McGraw can do some damage too. But right now the skirmishers are really the only ones that can help us. Uh, we're just going to keep moving forward here. Just keep moving towards McPherson's Ridge. Same with Archer's Brigade. We're moving forward, and in fact, the Dave are going to charge right up towards the skirmishers, hopefully forcing them back. Um, we'll keep these skirmishers here just to deal, basically, with their uh, vedettes. I think this is a pretty good move on the enemy's part, just kind of flanking around and trying to deal damage that way. Um, we're going to go ahead and switch to Shell Shot and see if we can't do some damage to those vedettes. Alright, there we go. At least we can hold the position, and it looks like we are pushing the skirmishers off the hill. That's awesome, guys. We're going to go ahead and continue with Archer's Brigade over here. We will move the rest of these men up, but right now, all I'm going to do with skirmishers is keep them right here on the hill. Um, the real reason that this guy's got the vedettes here is he's going to keep my artillery occupied for quite a while, um, and that's definitely a good thing. Go ahead. Oh boy. All right. It looks like Davis is pulling back, guys. The skirmishers have forced Davis back. I'm going to go ahead and run with Archer, and I may actually attempt uh, an assault with Archer Brigade up towards Oak Ridge, because we really want to take this position from the enemy. Uh, Davis is taking a lot of damage here. Okay. Well, it looks like we actually forced one of the Vedette's units off the field, which is pretty cool. Let's try to see if we can get our skirmishers back, uh, and we'll get Archer and Davis to fire together on uh, Devon's skirmishers here. We really want to get these men on top of the hill, so let's see if we can make that happen. Come on, boys. We'll also get... Where is the general unit here, guys? Oh, boy. Oh, here he is, third corps. He's right there. I can't believe I didn't spot him. Uh, and we'll go ahead and charge both. Charge here uh, with Archer. And we'll also charge with Davis's brigade as well. Uh, it looks like archers stopped to the charge a little prematurely but now they're going to go ahead and move forward and yes it looks like the skirmishers are pulling back uh colors brigade is going to be here to support the enemy so we need to be careful of that but hopefully we can go ahead and withstand the attack uh let's move these skirmishers up here so now the skirmishers are still fighting the enemy unfortunately it looks like the vedettes have returned in force uh to try to take this position can't say i blame them but let's go ahead and switch over the canister shot and try to do as much damage to them as possible uh, let's get these guys up too. Okay, we are moving the enemy off the uh, Oak Ridge here, guys. That was really the whole point of the uh, this battle. And I don't know what's going on here with Iron Brigade. Seems to be in a, in a very, very odd uh, position. Um, let's go ahead and move back here. Okay, so there we go. We just want to keep moving the vedettes back. 
Um, but unfortunately, this is keeping our skirmishers out of the fight, and that's not a good thing. We have secured Oak Ridge. It's definitely a good thing. I want to go ahead and bring Archer back up here to the ridge. Um, and at this point, I just want to keep these guys on top of the ridge. I don't know what's going on with his Iron Brigade, uh, but I can only guess that he's either confused as to what to do or lagging hard, because uh, that doesn't make much sense. Although he's, just, he's still attacking with his skirmishers here, so maybe he's just not paying attention. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get over here, start opening up on Iron Brigade, actually. Okay, Archer actually would prefer if you fell back. Um, and the reason I want Archer to fall back is so that he can actually defend this hill. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to Canister Shot. Oh boy. Come on, Mare. Okay, this is when I start to be a little concerned. Uh, looks like our skirmishers are not in the greatest position. Let's at least see if Crenshaw can get a better vantage point over here so he can shoot the enemy without destroying his own men. Uh, so let's take a look here. We've still got this 250 points up here. We've got the 3,000 here. That's our uh, position. We've still got the enemy 1750 here. So I'm going to go ahead and move Davis forward and start opening up here on uh, Iron Brigade. Wow, okay. The rest of our division forces are here. We still need them to urgently support the attack before the Yankees get more reinforcements. Indeed. Um, we're going to go ahead. So still no idea what's going on with Iron Brigade here. We're just going to keep our guy. Maybe it's some sort of game glitch because I don't think that, <laughs> that Iron Brigade exists in this battle. Um, until much later. I may be wrong. Let's go ahead and switch over here. Start opening up on the cavalry units. And now the cavalry is actually mess our infantry coming right out. This is a pretty cheap move by the enemy. Uh, I think he's trying to make my uh, infantry here retreat um, so that I don't even get the reinforcements. <laughs> That's really, really, really fishy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get these out fast. And in fact, we'll run with them. Uh, we'll run with these guys too. Start dealing with this enemy over here. Uh, in fact, we can come on the enemy over here through the woods. Let's do that. And still no assault by the enemy whatsoever. It looks like he stayed put. He is moving the artillery up to get a f some better shots, but I'm not sure how effective that's going to be. Um, and there we go. Yes, the artillery definitely moved. So I'm just going to try to get close and fire some canister shot. All right, let's get Pettigrew here. I cannot stay in Iron Brigade there. That is so weird. It's so weird. Let's see if our men will even interact with them. No. <laughs> so that's... Sorry about that, guys. That is that is a total game glitch. There is a unit on the field that does not exist. Um, it looks like the men won't even interact with them. So I'm going to go ahead and get over here on Gamble Skirmisher and start firing on them. Uh, we still have this guy here, just in case we need to defend the hill. Let's go ahead and move forward here. Okay, now this time we are moving Broken Bro up. Uh, it looks like the enemy has stopped his vedette, his vedette assault, really. Uh, which is all I could really call it. And now he's basically concentrated all his forces here. We're going to go ahead and move these guys forward. Pettigrew and Broken Bro as well. Alright, I guess he's hoping that I won't push the assault here. But he is moving these guys up. We've got Paul coming up, guys. So we're going to go ahead and actually move Davis back to Oak Ridge. Um, and just deal with Paul. Paul is definitely going to try to take this Oak Ridge area for sure. And he's got some reinforcements too. So we want to be very careful. Although if we just continue this attack right here, we're going to be doing okay. It looks like the enemy's got his uh, act together and he's finally moving his skirmishers into position as well. Um, so we need to be very careful with those guys. Let's go ahead and move this guy over here. Actually, I want the skirmisher unit. Fortunately, he's going to have to stay back here. And here we go. Davis is ready, guys. Archer's already opened up on the enemy. Davis should be ready to fire pretty soon here. Uh, but I'm just going to keep him in this position. Maybe we just want to turn his battle lines a little bit over a bit. There we go. All right. Let's open up on Paul. And see, we do have this uphill advantage. So we're going to be firing from the top of the hill, getting great downhill fire um, on the end. Still got Baxter here. We want to be careful. A nice Union battle line defending this area. I'm actually going to go ahead and take the skirmishers and send them over here. I know it's not the safest bet, uh, but I think we need to do it. And we just need to finish off the enemy skirmishers before they continue to be just even more of a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and move Mare up here. We can actually probably move to Shell Shot. I believe we can anyway. And uh, we can't open up on Iron Brigade because they don't exist, but we can probably open up on these skirmisher units. All right, there we go. Just want to make sure that the enemy doesn't get any bright ideas here with the vedettes and bring them back around trying to take that position. Okay, we've got some Union forces moving in here, guys. Looks like they're definitely going for the ridge. We want to go ahead and move Archer around towards Baxter. There he is. I see him. Uh, Archer doesn't have many men left in this brigade, but it doesn't matter. We need his forces more than ever right now. 
Uh, at this point, we can go ahead and start charging with Pettigrew and the old Confederate battle charge. So charge with Broken Bro. I believe we can break these skirmishers uh, and ultimately take this position over here near McPherson's farm, which is going to give us a woods advantage uh, for defense. And there we go. Paul is running away, guys. That's perfect. Um, got Shadow Iron Brigade here, just <laughs> just doing nothing. Uh, and where we go, we're going straight in for the charge. Oh boy, a lot of canister shot from the enemy artillery. That's going to be rough, really rough for our men. Um, and I still hope we can take this position. We may have started a bit far back for a proper charge, but it does look like we're pushing the enemy back, um, or at least making them think twice here. And uh, Baxter is definitely trying to get on the hill, so we need to be careful over there. Uh, we should also keep our eye over here on this in case the enemy sends some reinforcements. Okay, Major McIntosh's artillery battalion has arrived. Should we deploy it to Harris Ridge to support uh, Major Pegram's artillery? I suppose we should. Uh, let's see where he's coming from. I don't see where he's coming from. All right, let's take a look here. Just make sure that Baxter is getting a beating. Um, I don't know why Davis isn't opening fire on him. I guess he's just giving him a break. <laughs> and here we go. Davis should be firing on Baxter pretty soon. Um, guessing he's going to be pulling back. He's going to go ahead and open up with an but I don't think he could survive this downhill sh fire from my men uh, for very long. Okay, there we go. The men are dropping like flies, and there we go. Baxter's finally going to go ahead and pull back. Uh, we'll make sure that Davis just halts, and we'll also make sure that Archer halts too. Uh, we'll just have them reload. Okay, here we go. Pettigrew still on that charge. Now, somehow Pettigrew was not successful. He is pulling back, um, although it was successful enough to sort of displace the enemy for us to get Broken Bro into position here. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's head up here, make sure everything that's going on is kosher. And yes, here we go. The artillery is ar arriving, or has arrived, I should say. Um, so we'll go ahead and try to get it on these hill positions and start firing down on the enemy. Um, as much as we can. It looks like Pettigrew has reformed here. Uh, we could do a counter charge, because I think it's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go for the counter charge with Pettigrew. Uh, just send those skirmishers run once again, and uh, hopefully this will assist us in winning the battle. We may even be able to take this next position, although I wouldn't count on it. Um, let's go ahead and just move Broken Bull up. Alright, Pettigrew, what are you... I'm just going to have him charge again. I don't know what Pettigrew is doing, but... Uh, he seems to stop the charge the second the enemy starts running. I wish he would just continue it. Um, we're going to go ahead and move Broken Bro over here, guys. The enemy does have some artillery positions there to defend, but they're playing very defensively right now, and uh, I don't see them doing much at this point. Let's go ahead and move Davis up. Okay, now we have made the skirmishers move back as well. Um, looks like he's also going to try to get the artillery in a more advantageous position up here on the hill, and he's already moved to shell shot. But I think he's sort of realized that he's beat, unless he's going for a last-ditch attempt with the Vedettes to take that victory point. Um, and that's why I'm still moving these guys up, because I don't want him to do that. That would actually be not too hard for him. He would just have to swing two units of Vedettes over here, uh, move this artillery out of position before the end of the battle, and he would win uh, by default, which is pretty annoying. So we don't want that to occur. Uh, I'm just going to keep moving forward. We can go ahead and engage Cutler. Uh, and we can definitely get Broken Bro into position here. Right now, all we're dealing with are skirmisher units with Pettigrew, so I don't think he's too worried. This Iron Brigade is just a bug. That's that's it. It doesn't exist. Um, I almost want to just report a bug too, too involved in the battle right now. Okay, that artillery, you see, that's what I was worried about. The canister shot is still a problem, and um, he seems to try, be trying to move all of his skirmishers and all of his cannons over here. He's totally neglecting the infantry in the city. Um, I don't know why, I uh, don't really understand. Maybe he's having some lag issues. I wouldn't be surprised with this crazy Iron Brigade thing here going. Although he's still maneuvering his ta his um, artillery pieces. He's still maneuvering a lot of different things. Um, look at this position of Caleb's artillery, for instance. So, I don't know if he's going for a last-ditch effort at a victory. Um, right now, he has 2,700 150, so I only beat him by about 250 points, I believe. Um, it's not really that much, and now it looks like... Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's my... What am I talking about? Now I have that position. Uh, okay, General Penner enters the battlefield from Chambers Pike. We need his support. Awesome. Um, so it looks like Pender is on his way. Let's go ahead and see where he's at. Okay, here we go, guys. More skirmishers are being sent up. He's pushed back Broken Bro again. As you guys can see, he's concentrated all of his artillery. He's actually moving his artillery forward now to hold this position. And that's kind of worrying me, because now I know he's definitely not AFK. And uh, furthermore, I know that he's doing everything he can to hold this position of 1750. That worries me. 
That makes me think that he thinks he can maybe win the battle by holding that position, which leads me to believe that he's definitely going to go for a sneak attack up here. Um, I'm almost tempted to just leave scales here just in case he does. Um, we're going to go ahead and run with this guy. We'll go ahead and take lane, run with him too. Uh, toward the south. Here we go. The enemy is also getting some reinforcements. No wonder. He's probably moving them up here to the Lutheran Seminary uh, er area. So we're going to head and just try to make a sort of conclave defense. Uh, just sort of cutting him, cutting his forces off and hemming him in this area here. Um, we can go ahead and also move these skirmishers on top of the hill. Alright, let's see. Scales. Okay, there we go. The battle has commenced, guys. Looks like now he has decided to stir, at least move Bucktail Brigade back into position here. Um, I don't know how successful he's going to be, but we want to go ahead and engage that guy. Probably open up on his artillery pieces as well. Let's move Broken Bro up. So we really want to make him fight for this position. We don't want him taking uh, the Seminary Ridge back that easily, although it looks like he's going to put Davis on the run really quickly. And that's why he amassed these guys all together. And it looks like now he may be moving his infantry for one massive assault, um, which I wouldn't be surprised by. We're going to go ahead and actually move Parent over here to Ridge, because I think I get an idea of what he's probably going for. Um, and what it is is a massive assault with all of these units he's kind of just waited for in the entire battle uh, to see if he can push us off the Ridge and eventually push us the uh, Oak Ridge and excuse me, off of the area as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and move this guy into position. We're going to move Lane, and hopefully he'll get there in time. Also move Perrin up here too. I'm just going to guess that Iron Brigade surrendered. <laughs> it's just a bunch of surrendered units um, are ahead of their battle line. So now you guys can see we are losing this position a little bit. It's being contested by the enemy. Um, it's now gray, which means it's very neutral. It's, it's basically between both of us, and I want to make sure that I take him. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to charge with Pettigrew. It may seem a risky move, but it's going to go ahead and give me enough time to set up a position with Lean, um, and hopefully to retake this area. Uh, fairly quickly. So let's go ahead. Here we go. Pettigrew's moving up. You can see that it's now falling to the Union. We definitely need to move up here. Okay, Pettigrew's moving in for a charge. Unbelievable. He's definitely making the uh, our enemy artillery pull back. The enemy skirmishers are also in a little bit of trouble. Um, and at this point, we just want to bring everything up here to support this guy. So we're going to move all of these uh, artillery pieces up here, just in case the enemy tries with another group of uh, artillery, or excuse me, another group of infantry to take these positions. Alright, Pettigrew's still going on his charge. Pretty impressive by Pettigrew. We'll go ahead and move him up this way and have him charge into the flank of the enemy units. Although you can see, guys, that we're having some trouble. A lot of our units are pulling back. Davis is pulling back. Broken Bro is pulling back. But the important part is keeping them off the hill. That's really the important part. Lieutenant Garnett's artillery battalions have arrived. Really good timing. Okay. And it looks like he's, not, he's decided not to use his general unit because Buford is way back here. Make sure he's not trying to take that position. It doesn't look like it. All right, here we go. Pettigrew is going closing in for another charge. I'm actually just going to have him set up and do some volley fire. Um, we are in an open position, and uh, our cover is about 50% because actually half of our unit is in the woods, so that's not so bad. But they're having a little bit of trouble getting into position here to fire. Oh, we've got Biddle's brigade is back in the fight, the enemy's brigade, and he's not at all shy about opening up on lane. Uh, but hopefully there's not enough time left in the battle for him to take these positions, positions back. And we're going to go ahead and use Davis to sort of basically close these guys in here. Uh, oh boy. I thought the skirmishers were going for our hill there for a second. And just to make sure in case he gets sneaky, I'm going to move our skirmishers back over here. I just don't trust our end right now. Um... I won't say he's had the best tactics, um, but I think he just waited too long, because ultimately, if he had continued this assault, uh, you know, on all fronts, if he moved Paul up, moved Cutler up, he would be doing pretty well right now. I'm not sure if he could win the battle with so many positions, but uh, he would definitely be in a better position than he is now. Um, at this point, Pettigrew can go ahead and actually need a charge. Go ahead. You can see we've hemmed the enemy in totally. Uh, so they're going to be pretty surprised. And actually, it looks like Pettigrew's men have stopped. <laughs> you guys see that skirmisher go down right there? That was intense. Um, they've just stopped and fire. They're not even carrying out the charge. They're just shooting at the enemy like fish in a barrel. Uh, it's not looking good for them at all. Go ahead and get Broken Bro up here. thought that was pretty sneaky by the enemy getting those videttes um, earlier in the battle to sort of, uh, s you know, stop my reinforcement uh, lanes, I guess. I guess he was just trying to make the unit run off the battlefield. Because if you make a unit retreat off the field, they don't come back. 
Um, which I, I like that. I think that's cool, but I think that um, it should be something more like a surrender ability or something. Uh, like they should come back on the field with their hands in the air. That would be, to me, much more interesting uh, than just running away from the battlefield. Let's take a quick look here at the actual carnage. Uh, this battle being the first day of Gettysburg, you guys can see not as bad as most of our battles here. Um, nearly not as many men fighting, obviously. That's one thing. Um, but also, there was just not too much combat besides around here near Lutheran Seminary. The, the enemy really... Me it seemed that all they did was they pulled back. First, they set up a defensive line of the skirmishers. That didn't really work out for them. They went ahead and pulled back over here to hold Lutheran Seminary, and they focused all their forces uh, while neglecting a lot. Uh, like, for instance, Cutler, Paul, and one of their, let's see, their skirmishers over here, as well as Buford. So I would say that this guy is probably fairly new. Um, he does have a major general rank. But uh, obviously, you play the uh, first battle of Gettysburg. It's not all that difficult to go ahead and get that rank. You can see right now that the battle is still delayed, which is a bit odd. Um, I don't think it should be. So we're going to go ahead and move scales up here to take this uh, position up here. And we'll move the skirmishers to hold the hill. All right, here we go. So I guess the enemy is still putting up somewhat of a fight. That's why the battles continue. Um, so for some reason, the AI still believes that he can win this, or that he can at least put up a pretty good uh, defense uh, ridge. But I don't think he can, and just to prove that, I'm going to go ahead and take this position. Uh, get rid of these damn artillery positions that are really just a pain. You can see Pettigrew is just kicking the crap out of everybody. Look at this. He's got Bucktail Brigade on the run. Um, he's, he's just charging into all sorts of troops here, and I'm going to go ahead and just do a massive assault. Uh, we'll go ahead and charge on Biddle's Brigade. We'll charge with Archer on Biddle's Brigade. We'll charge with Perrin on Biddle's Brigade. Um, it looks like Biddle's actually going to go ahead and level his, his uh, rifles and open fire right as we reach him on the charge. Oh, don't like when that happens. It's actually forced Davis back, but I don't know if he could do much about Perrin and uh, Archer. And look at that. Pettigrew is still going to work on the enemy, too. Okay, here we go, guys. So at this point, we're just in a little um, artillery battle here with the enemy. You can see a lot of dead here in Lutheran Seminary area. And it looks like every single unit here, including ours and the enemies, um, are retreating. Although Biddle actually seems to be holding his position, which is a bit curious, uh, to say the least. And look at this. Pettigrew is just hanging out in the middle of all of these Union soldiers doing absolutely nothing. We're going to go ahead and have him charge, charge, charge. Um, and just try and destroy these guys. Just totally mess them up. All right, let's go. It looks like Scales is almost at his position, and uh, I'm hoping that once we take this, um, let's see, Oak Hill area, we'll probably just go ahead and automatically win the battle, and it won't be a delay anymore. But while the enemy has so many men here that he could still use, uh, the battle will be somewhat delayed. Let's move Lane up. Look at that. That's more like a battle. It looks like the uh, close combat in this battle was especially gory. Most of the deaths definitely taking place in just this charge, um, the, all these charges over here that we've had. So that's pretty interesting. Um, and at this point, all we really need to do is keep the pressure up. I'm not sure if even if the enemy could use Iron Brigade, they would have done very well in this battle. Uh, although, without the use of Iron Brigade, it's certainly not the greatest thing. Let's go ahead and move Davis up. Wow, so still a huge, just close hand-to-hand -hand combat fight here. Uh, let's see if we can start firing at Cutler. Alright, so we've definitely secured Oak Hill. I'm surprised um, that we haven't yet won the battle. But we'll just let the enemy do his thing, give him one last shot. Alright, skirmishers once again, they're just a pain. I'm going to go ahead and get Archer here. Okay, here we go, Davis, one more volley before you retreat. Come on, man. Oh, shit. Davis has not been the greatest candidate this battle. Um, he's just, you know, he's taken a lot of poundings from all the charges, obviously. Um, and he's just not really up to the task. We'll go ahead and move scales back down. But at this point, I'm not really going to do anything. I, there's really not much more we have to do. Um, we've taken every single tree position. At this point, we're just giving the, the enemy um, general one more opportunity to win the battle. 
um, but it doesn't look like he's got much opportunity here. So we'll just keep pressing the attack pose, but keeping our guys back wouldn't be a bad idea either. And you can see, it looks like our men are bayoneting some dead Union soldiers in the north. If you guys can see that. Um, there's still men here uh, that are just bayoneting the dead to make sure they're, they're not going to ever attack us again. Let's go ahead and move Perrin up. Come on, Perrin, you can stop. You got Your men can stop bayoneting the enemy. That's just wrong. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up here. I like that effect, though. All right, Davis is opening up on Cutler. Or not. Okay, nice shots, actually, by Davis. You guys can see Cutler's numbers are dropping pretty fast. Uh, that's not at all bad. Oh, there we go. One volley made Davis pull back. I, I, I can't blame him. Um, so yeah, I think at this point, uh, the best thing to do would be to go ahead and just stay put. I wish there was actually an option, like there is in close combat, to ask the enemy for a surrender. Um, because at this point, I don't see them being able to come back at all. Uh, I think this battle's been, been a victory for quite a while now. Alright, we'll move Archer back here to the woods. I don't know if you could call this woods. For those of you that have visited the Battle of Gettysburg, um, you should tell me if there are any woods by Schultz Farm, or if Schultz Farm even still exists. Um, at least the area that used to be Schultz Farm. It looks like Perrin is in perpetual charge mode. Um, he doesn't seem to be shooting. Okay, there we go. So you can open up on color one more time. Wow, and Perrin's men are just going nuts. Uh, definitely a few bugs on multiplayer battles. Uh, we've got Iron Brigade's Shadow Brigade up here, and we've got Perrin's bayoneting uh, infantry here, uh, just against all rules of the Geneva Convention. Of course, I don't think the Geneva Convention was written up during the time of the American Civil War, so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, but that's still a bit weird and awkward. We're going to go ahead and just see what Perrin can do by charging into the enemy here. May as well have him charge. His men are so eager to kill anyway. Okay, and we're going right into the city of Gettysburg, I should guess the town of Gettysburg, to uh, complete this. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the battle. Our general is just standing on top of a pile of corpses. Uh, but actually, m most of the... The real interesting thing I should say here is the amount of artillery dead. The uh, enemy took all of his artillery units, every single one of them, and centered them around the Lutheran Seminary area in a sort of C pattern. Um, and when I saw that, I was a little worried that taking that position would be difficult. But without proper infantry support, which he didn't have because all of his infantry were behind these buildings and thus they were out of the line of sight, uh, the, the cannons really didn't do much damage. Uh, we could take a look here just on the approach. Um, we lost a few men, you know. We're still taking shell shot. We just lost one there, uh, but not nearly as many as the Union did. Uh, I feel really bad for them. Let's actually go ahead here, fire on the retreating infantry. I know that's not the greatest thing to do here, but this is war, and war is hell. Um, we want to kill as many of the enemy as we can so they don't decide to come back. Alright, here we go. It looks like Perrin is still attacking. It's bizarre. I've never seen a battle of this. Um, yeah, Perrin's kept up the assault. He's still fighting with Cutler Brigade. It's just they're engaged in Mortal Kombat. Every now and again, you could see one of their numbers drop by about one or two. So I imagine just a lot of fist fights, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, rifles, rifle butts being smacked over enemies' heads, etc. Uh, but not so much bayoneting because the men aren't dropping like flies when they when they get into real serious hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. Let's actually just take a look here. Yeah, they're just sort of just fighting. The, the charge has continued is interesting. Move up here. And I think at this point the enemy has given up. Um, I don't see him moving. As you guys can see down here with Biddle, uh, he's not even really attempting to move the uh, the guy at all. He's not attempting to move Cutler. He could probably do a counter charge here and get Perrin to basically pull back a bit. Uh, but he's not. You know, At this point I decided that he's probably lost the battle and I don't blame him. Um, he's got no artillery support left. We've destroyed that. Uh, he's lost a lot of men. He's stuck across this little uh, eddy, river, canal, whatever you want to call it. Um, and to get across it and move back up into any of these positions would be nearly impossible. Uh, it's possible that once this the Iron Brigade's uh, glitch happened, he may have just gone ahead and given up. I'm not sure. Um, but 
I think that, I, you know, he definitely kept moving those vedettes, so he, I think he probably gave up and was trying to get a cheap victory. Um, and then towards the end, when he saw how many reinforcements he had, he thought, let me try one last push, and couldn't make it. And that's basically what I do. When I lose, I typically try once or twice to take back the position, and when I can't win anymore, I just kind of let the enemy finish me, or, or I just quit the game. There's no real point in drawing it out. I wish this guy would quit, because it's quite clear he's not making much of a move here. We're going to go ahead and send Lane in here to assist Perrin uh, in cutting off Cutler, and now at this point, we, we're attacking Cutler from all sides. Um, he should be he should be very, very badly damaged after this engagement, guys. Wow, Cutler is amazing. So, I guess he's just really trying to, like, stay in formation, uh, despite the fact that his men are getting whittled down little by little. Look at this, 1282. It'll be 1281 in a second. Actually, it's taking a while. There we go, 1281. It's taking a while to go down. It seems they're just, they're both kind of just calm. I think everybody knows the battle is over. zoom in here for you guys to take a look at that. Um, at this point, we may go ahead and fall back. Let's fall back with uh, Lane. We'll fall back with Perrin as well. And try to just get some uh, volley fire on the enemy here. Because we are we are taking their numbers down, don't get me wrong, but um, we're not really taking their numbers down as quickly as I'd like. Uh, and, you know, there's no re need for us to needlessly lose men in this, uh, in this charge when we've already won the battle. So we'll go ahead and pull back. Everybody's trying to take their battle lines again. Okay, oh, Biddle, oh boy, so the enemy has not given up. It looks like he's bringing Biddle uh, back from the dead to try to deal with our men. Now, that's pretty smart, uh, because right now you see Perrin and Lane are sort of back here doing their charge. Biddle could ostensibly take the position back um, if we don't pull back immediately, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Just make sure Archer's got his eyes on Biddle. We do have the uphill advantage, although we have very little cover. The good news is he's got very little cover, too, so that works out. At this point, we can move Lane into position here. Wow, Perrin is not giving up the fight. Alright, we'll have Lane. Wow, is Lane charging? It looks like he might be. Yes, he is! <laughs> Lane is charging, but he's pulling back right at the end of the charge, and we actually force Biddle back. That's great. Uh, Archer will get one last volley into the guy's backs. And yet another one bites the dust right there by the bushes. I'm sure we got no sneaky enemy movements here. I didn't think so. We'll move more up here in Grand, in case the enemy tries one last move with the, with the Vedettes, but I don't see that ha um, happening or occurring at all. Uh, but still, nonetheless, a lot of dead here. All right, Perrin is trying to get back into position, but our lines have actually crisscrossed with Cutler's lines. This is a very confusing situation. You can see both of the uh, soldiers are tr trying to fight each other and trying to figure out where the hell their divisions are. And there we go, Perrin is pulled back now, retreated actually, and so is Lane. Um, and it looks like the Union has managed to hold the town of Gettysburg. Um, although, that's not really that surprising. Um, the town of Betty Gettysburg is, you know, it has three divisions right in front of it. We've got a bridge here. Uh, we just can't simply break through it with a charge that easily. But we don't need to. Um, and here we go again with Biddle. This guy, I think he's trying to form a battle line here, if you guys can see right here. Um, there's already three gates, and he's bringing Biddle up to try to form a battle line, maybe as a last-ditch effort to win the battle. Um, I hope he doesn't succeed. Let's go ahead and move this guy down. Oh, come on, third core. You can't have these guys falling back like this. Looks like our men are even opening fire into the retreating soldiers, uh, but mainly just to hit Cutler across the uh, little river or canal here. It looks like Baxter's moving up a little bit. How did Baxter... How is Baxter firing from so far away? He's not a skirmisher unit. Uh, but here we go. It looks like the enemy may be going for one last-ditch effort. Um, it'll be really interesting to see them make push. They've got all of their guys set up in a nice little line. Um, and I think if they act just at the right time, they're moving Biddle up now again, uh, they may have a chance. But we are also... The good thing is, we also are... Um, getting some morale back as we just kind of hang back. So even if they launch all now, it's not going to be easy to take this position. Let's move Broken Bro up. Have Archer fire on Biddle too. 
Yeah, Biddle is just not gonna make it, I don't think. Wow, he actually got a volley off on Perrin. I'm surprised by that. Uh, yeah. And it, look at this. We've still got a little glitch here. It seems Perrin are now bayoneting their own soldiers here on the field. Um, this battle, in, I haven't had glitches like this in the multiplayer so far. Um, but in this battle in particular, there were some pretty fun glitches. Uh, the kindly charging Perrin Brigade, which will refuse us to fire and just charge us non-stop. Um, and, of course, Iron Brigade uh, on crack over here. So, really things that need to be improved upon, but that's why this is an alpha, and uh, that's why there's going to be improvements as the game progresses through its multiplayer stage and, and things get ironed out. Um, I wouldn't say don't buy this game, I think it's great, and honestly, 90, 95% of the online battles I have do not have any sort of glitch at all. Um, but this one was a little odd. Now, of course, these weren't getting glitches. Um, the enemy may have gotten a, lost a little confidence when he couldn't have used Iron Brigade, but I wouldn't have. I would have definitely kept fighting. Um, I think the battle could have definitely still been won by the Union, especially if he got his forces on McPherson Ridge. Um, and not just on McPherson, excuse me, not McPherson Ridge, pardon me, um, on the, uh, oh yes, McPherson Ridge, I'm right, um, and Oak Ridge over here, um, he would have done a lot better. And I, that's exactly what I do. I usually, on this battle, when I'm playing as the Union, I take skirmishers and I retreat everybody up on this hill. And most of the time, unless the enemy does some pretty devastating charges, uh, they don't get up. So that's the whole thing about uh, uphill advantage. Pairing up to. Okay, there we go, guys. The outcome is a victory. Kind of expected it. Not my not my toughest battle at all. Um, the enemy just yeah, he just kind of seemed to lose his morale. He, he attempted some a few charges here and there, but I think he had kind of given up. Um, sort of when we took that hill area, that ridge area, and he saw that uh, taking those positions was going to be pretty difficult. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Uh, if you did, please give me a like down below. A comment always helps too, and make sure to uh, you know post down below what you think of the game so far. Thank you so much, guys. Have an awesome day and take care.